Hey guys, how's it going? Forrest here. So I want to be really quick and brief just because this wasn't gonna, I was not going to record a video like this. Um, but you know what? I think the time is now. So here we go. I grew up in a time when silence was mandatory during the Bush era. I went to public schools um, that allowed, that excluded uh, sexuality and gender from their bullying policies. But, uh, but not religion. Also giving people allowances to bully on their religious belief, according to state and local laws. To this day, there's about 15 more states in this country still to this day that don't include sexuality in their bullying policies, but include religion in their bullying policies and not even gender. Uh, and there's still cases of, be of, of uh, LGBT plus being bullied with nothing being done because the schools can't do anything because they choose not to enforce federal policies. They choose to stick with their traditional state's policies. And people don't want that abolished, I guess, and politicians, I guess, don't want to abolish this kind of thing. So um, I grew up getting bullied pretty much almost all my life. I didn't choose that. It chose me. Um, and I brought it up. I spoke up. I did my part. I told friends. I told, f I told family. I told school teachers. Um, I got a lot of people involved with my constant bullying. And um, schools really didn't do much about it. They told me that there's nothing they can do. That uh, my school in New Jersey told me that it's their right because the state allows them to bully if it's on their uh, religious belief it, towards sexuality. Um, I was actually the one that got in trouble sometimes when I tried defending myself and schools actually were the ones that suspended me in middle school for trying to defend myself. I've been threatened that if I can't sleep with women that they would cut my dick off, my balls off, shove a knife up my ass, um, all that great shit. So going into high school, I had the same problem. I transferred sophomore year from New South Jersey to Massachusetts. Although my high school in Mass and my high school in New Jersey was really good compared to the high school I transferred to in Massachusetts in Grafton, Massachusetts. Um, so I was bullied pretty much throughout high school until about senior year in Massachusetts and. I did everything I could to try to get something done about it. And once again, school boards, specifically the principal, would tell me that it's my fault for coming out and that I shouldn't act so uh, open about my sexuality when in reality I was forced out. People just assumed. I didn't even tell anybody. People just kept asking me, are you gay? You fag? You fag? When I was pretty much forced out in high school. So that kind of... Ruin that kind of ruined a lot for me. Um, fucked me up mentally pretty much. Um, but I went through school being told that nothing could be done because the state's laws don't include what my problem was. And there's still about 15 to 20 states that have the same problem right now with with students. LGBT students. So, um, I forget where I was going with this. I'm like really high. Um, so, I mean, come on. For, for conservatives or pro-gun rights or, you know, uh, people who are basically brainwashed uh, are starting to bring in suicide into um, this matter. And I think it's kind of funny uh, because, yeah, there are, the, there are facts towards suicide, but what people, what they're not remembering is that one of the highest suicide rates, especially with um, suicides with guns, um, is in the LGBT plus community and also with veterans. So, and that skyrocketed in 2001... And 2016, hmm, I wonder why. And also in 2005 or 2004. 2004 was another year that it skyrocketed. And you, everyone can kind of put the pieces together on why. 
whether it was bullying, school boards didn't do what they were supposed to do, their job and punish kids when they do something wrong or, you know, stuff like that. I I don't even want to get into what kind of bullying I, I had to deal with because it was pretty much all of the above. Um, so, you know, where were all you, uh, all, all you people who are saying that, um, you know, uh, guns have to do with like suicide and all this bullshit, you know, where were you when LG, when, when LGBT, uh, people are bullied constantly, killed, still killed, um, the government is making it even worse, okay, and you're going to inc to bring up suicide when it comes to gun activists who just want stricter gun laws and safer school schools when when the GOP has been running this country from 2010 to 2017 and did they ever work to giving more money for school security from 2010 to 2017 when they took the majority in the Senate and the and, and the Congress were they? Answer my fucking question. Were they working towards school security or funding school security from those years? So please, do not bring suicide in with this. Unless you had concerns of the suicide rate going up in my, with my brothers and sisters in 2001, 04, and 16, then you have no fucking right to bring in suicide when it comes to... Um, trying to make an argument against uh, gun activists who just want to live in a safer country. So, I don't know. But you're, you guys are all fucking hypocrites. So, <laughs> I mean, come on. The Republican Party is going to go down in history since 2010 that... Recently, this is their newest low. Lowest of the lowest with what I've been seeing from conservative news sources and um, online media and what people are saying and believing. <laughs> um, it's almost like facts, scientific facts aren't even real anymore. Like what's really happening to people uh, doesn't even matter. Um, like it doesn't even exist to them, supposedly. Um, you know, like... LGBT plus community Americans are still not equal under the Constitution, under the Declaration of Independence, under state laws. One third of this country still don't see LGBT in their states as protected citizens under the law. So please tell me, were you here for me? Were you here for millions of other LGBT Americans when they were getting bullied and maybe thought of suicide like I did? Were you? Were you there to defend these these um, victims of ignorant and hate hateful crimes? Were you? If you can answer my question now on how you feel about that, or if you can't, then you need to take a good look at yourself and see what you're really fighting for because what your what your party on the right has been doing is unconstitutional treason against the Amer the Americans we need reform in so many areas of this country that aren't even being talked about and you're going to bring in suicide to a gun argument about stricter gun policies and safer schools when your party hasn't even been working towards that at all at all zero so please do me a favor and shut the fuck up.